In this demo, I will show you uh, how to work uh, with the low power features of the STM32 USB peripherals. Uh, in this particular case, uh, connected to HID uh, device uh, functionality. So the main point here is the demonstration how to set uh, the low power mode on the USB and uh, what to expect uh, from its usage. Um, so also few more details about the USB uh, suspend and the remote wake up. And at the end, uh, I will show you what to expect uh, from the VBA sensing and uh, why it may be important for us uh, to use it. So as you, um, as we uh, already told you, uh, there is uh, the USB uh, specification. Uh, uh, feature for the suspend. This means that uh, the host uh, decides uh, to not uh, send uh, the start of frame anymore and uh, it's uh, on the device to shrink its uh, power consumption from the bus uh, under uh, maximum uh, 10 milliamps. Uh, even this is not uh, strictly uh, checked by the host that the, the power consumption of the device is lower than uh, this maximum value, the device still uh, should consume less uh, than uh, this value. So uh, for this uh, purpose uh, it's uh, said like that, uh, that a USB peripheral uh, is um, almost deactivated and the microcontroller is uh, put in the sleep mode. But uh, while in the sleep mode, the uh, USB uh, peripheral is still able to wake up the microcontroller uh, upon uh, detection of the wake up pulse from the host and also is able to generate the wake up event uh, on the bus if needed. Uh, here, um, this uh, hands on will be a little bit different from the other one. Uh, I won't uh, show you the uh, programming step by step uh, um, because uh, it uh, would be quite long and uh, also the testing of this project will be on a different PC uh, as I will operate uh, there with the uh, suspend of the PC. Uh, so uh, let's start uh, with the theory uh, the generation of the project is uh, very same like for the other one so first uh, we create a new project for our microcontroller here it's uh, a 446 uh, uh, nucleo board uh, activate the OTG full speed also with the VBUS option which will be discussed later so we have also PA9 usage uh, as uh, you already uh, passed through the hardware uh, section there is uh, more described uh, the obstacles with PA9 usage so if you are uh, not aware please uh, uh, take a look there uh, as a standard way we also use the high speed external use the PC13 as the GPIO for remote wake up uh, configure LA, uh, LEDs and uh, we will use the HID class so for the mouse which is uh, quite normal to use uh, with the uh, low power and the remote wake up I believe you already have such experience uh, when you put your laptop to sleep uh, in such case uh, the USB uh, bus is suspended and uh, you are able to uh, wake up uh, the PC by the power button and then also the mouse is again activated or it's also possible to wake up the PC by uh, the uh, click of the mouse or some uh, action from the mouse but for this uh, the remote wake up option need to be enabled uh, by the PC and by the port where the mouse is connected so few more configuration we need to do in uh, QPMX so we need to go into the USB full speed configuration and enable their low power uh, this will uh, enable the putting uh, the microcontroller into stop mode uh, when the suspend is uh, detected 
and then we need to a little bit change the priorities as uh, there is used a uh, hull delay inside of the uh, remote wake up uh, event so when we press the button there is the activation of remote wake up on the bus and after 10 milliseconds the remote wake up is stopped so we need to uh, have uh, higher priority on the SysTick compared to USB or to the, uh, to the XT uh, so in a more cleaner way a different approach than a, a whole delay should be used as it's uh, called from interrupt but for the simplicity here all delay is used and uh, also uh, we want to uh, want to enable the wake up event of the USB later than it's configured so now we can uh, generate uh, the project again for the true studio and uh, we can uh, uh, move directly to the code so in the code uh, we will more or less reuse the configuration from the mouse example so again add there the include and uh, define a buffer and uh, into the while loop we put the mice uh, movement compared to the previous example with the mouse uh, we won't use here the button so the movement will be permanent the button of the nuclear board will be spared for the remote wake up uh, functionality so now uh, to the more important uh, functionality of this example so this is a callback of the button so the remote wake up uh, first we will check that uh, uh, the XT comes from the uh, pin connected to the button then uh, that the microcontroller is in the correct state so that uh, the remote wake up is uh, enabled and uh, currently the USB is suspended and on top of that that the low power is enabled so if we uh, do this uh, we need to uh, go out from the s uh, stop mode and uh, configure again the clock and uh, after that uh, we can activate the remote wake up using the whole PCD function this wake up uh, uh, should be on the bus 10 millisecond so a delay and uh, deactivate the remote wake up so using uh, these uh, two functions USB host uh, uh, will be uh, waken up uh, from the uh, suspend mode and the uh, bus will be activated again and according to that we will change the states uh, on top of that we will need to also to modify the IRQ handler of the um, backup interrupt which is uh, not uh, uh, together into one interrupt uh, with other uh, USB functionality so it has dedicated number for the wake up and uh, the reason why we need to modify this handler is that uh, without this modification the uh, uh, system clock setting would be uh, called multiple times and uh, now it's implemented in this way that uh, the PL is not configured exactly uh, correctly so it would get stuck as it would uh, try to reconfigure already used PRL so that's uh, the reason why we need to um, do uh, this handling here and now uh, with this uh, we are uh, ready to test so right now I have it uh, connected uh, to a different PC so I will uh, enable the USB analyzer so you will be able to see at least uh, some uh, stuff in the video but uh, more or less it's intended uh, to follow this description and write on your side so now I connect uh, uh, the device so you can see there are some frames for the start of frame and NAC transaction and useful transaction so some uh, data are sent now I put the laptop to the 
uh, sleep mode, so no frames, no knock, no use for transaction. So it's um, uh, now the bus is suspended, and when I uh, press the power button of the laptop, it's functional again, and the LED is toggling again. So let's go to the sleep mode again. So the LED stop with the toggling and uh, again the communication is stop. So let's press the button and LED is toggling again and the communication is running. So this is uh, quite uh, simple how to make the low power running. Uh, the low power on the USB can be used with uh, any kind of cars, uh, but uh, the USB peripheral full functionality can be made only with the run mode. Uh, because in the sleep mode the peripheral is still clocked, but um, the stack itself is uh, triggered by the core so the peripheral can be active for both a horse or device but still you need to be in the run mode to either trigger the uh, host uh, request or to handle the interrupt uh, caused by the device, uh, device uh, peripheral. So let's move to the second part uh, to demonstration of the VBUS sensing. So, as it uh, was already uh, explained, VBUS sensing uh, is in the USB specification from two reasons. First one is uh, that without detecting of the VBUS there should be no voltage on the data lines. So, if you don't detect the voltage from the host, there should be not connected uh, the pull-up resistor on either D plus or D minus. But in the practice, this is uh, not uh, strictly followed or checked. It's on, but it's in the specification. Uh, second uh, reason, more important, uh, why, why to uh, have the VBUS is uh, mainly for the uh, self-powered device. This and that means that uh, the device is powered from the battery is and is not uh, dependent only on the power from the bus and uh, without the VBUS sensing uh, the device is not able to differentiate the disconnection and uh, suspend state because uh, when the uh, when there is a suspend there is no activity on the bus uh, for the three millisecond no start of frames nothing and uh, by and the device uh, may uh, mm, somehow uh, realized that uh, this is exactly the same like the disconnection so no activity on the bus and uh, for uh, some project it may be uh, important and uh, also if uh, the device uh, detect the disconnection but uh, still uh, drain more power from the VBUS than it's allowed it uh, may be completely disconnected uh, by the host and then the communication cannot be restored after uh, the wake up from the host. So uh, for this we will need uh, to modify the suspend callback. So uh, first thing we have in the callback is a delay. Again uh, this is not a correct approach and it's here more or less for the simplicity. Uh, Bec uh, because as there is a ca uh, quite large capacitor on the nuclear board, it uh, takes a long time to uh, um, discharge its capacitor, so then uh, the uh, peripheral can uh, measure the VBUS and uh, realize whether there is still the connection to the host or not. So first the delay, then we will check in the registers uh, uh, if there is uh, still the connection to the host and uh, if uh, the connection is still there uh, and uh, the suspend is activated we will toggle the LED and uh, use the suspend mode 
of the USB peripheral. So again, the device will be sent to stop. On the other hand, uh, uh, if the suspend is uh, not used, uh, we know that uh, the device was disconnected. So we will, uh, we will toggle the LED to make it visible and uh, go to this um, disconnection event uh, in the library. So uh, when we will test the example for you, it won't be uh, unfortunately not visible in this video. Uh, when we detect the suspend, LD3 toggle and on disconnection, LD1 will toggle. Uh, and LD2 is toggling uh, uh, why uh, we are in the run mode. So let's go to the project. Here it's already prepared uh, what I discussed. You will have, have it in uh, uh, attachment and in the USB configuration is a define for VBUS test. So now you want to enable this defined to test the uh, suspend and disconnection and load it into the microcontroller. So I will disable again as we will use it in the stop mode and uh, show one more time the analyzer so let's restart and connect so again we can see the activity and communication and uh, let's uh, disconnect So now LD1 is active, uh, LD2 is uh, still blinking and we can see there is uh, no traffic, that's uh, exactly the same. So uh, like uh, when we put it into the sleep mode and that uh, show us that uh, 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 there is uh, no difference uh, between uh, s uh, suspend and disconnection for the USB without the VBUS. So we will connect. And uh, now it's again active, so let's uh, put the PC into sleep. And again, there is uh, no activity in the end. And if we would uh, disable uh, the VBUS sensing, then uh, we would not be able to recognize the disconnection and uh, both disconnect and suspend event would be recognized as uh, suspend only.